Hello everyone, myself Dr. Jyoti D. Gulwani. We are back with our subject research methodology. Yesterday we have learned different terminologies like research, observation, frequency, variable, hypothesis, population, sample size and universe. Today we have to learn certain new terminologies. Now under this Number one is researcher. Who is a researcher? A person who will identify a problem, the objective or the question is a researcher. Means what? Suppose if any query arises in your mind and you want to find out any answer, then you are known as a researcher. For that, you have to set one problem that is exactly what you want to define. You have to set in your mind. Suppose if you want to find out the habits uh, of the different students who are using mobile. So you have to make it in your mind clear that this is exactly problem you want to find out. That is habits related to mobile. Then you have to find out the objectives. Objectives that is main goal. If you want to check the habits of the students related to use of mobile then which kind of habits you want to check it should be clear aim goal should be clear in the mind of a person who is going to do the research clearly it should be set it. and then different questions should be prepared according to the problem we will learn it in detail but in short, the researcher, researcher is a person who identifies the question that he or she wants to do research on this particular thing. He or she is known as a researcher. Now suppose if as a researcher you are deciding that you want to do survey in a full district. Now as a single person it is not possible by a person to collect information from whole the district. So what a researcher does they appoint certain surveyors. Now who are the surveyors who collects the data on behalf of the researcher. Suppose Mr. A is there any questions arise in the mind of Mr. A that they want to find out something but it is not possible for Mr. A to do the survey as I said in this full district. So what Mr. A will do he will appoint certain person it may be 2 person it may be 3 person it may be 10 person it may be 50 person also. Now if Mr. A appoints certain person then this certain people will do survey on behalf of Mr. A and they will collect all the information. So a person who collects information on behalf of researcher is known as surveyor but these persons are appointed by the researcher and for that researcher has to pay certain amount to them in the form of salary, in the form of remuneration or in the form of daily wages whatever is decided between them. Next is sampling frame. Obviously, you have to decide now you, uh, that from where you have to collect the information. For that, you can take any map, you can take any chart or you can take any list. That list is known as sampling frame. But it should be clear in the mind that this is a map list or chart to find out samples from the population that means you have to take list of full population on whom you want to do survey and then you have to choose certain sample size from it suppose go with the last video's example that if you want to do survey on the cancer patient then you have to take a full list of the cancer patient that is you have to take the full list of the population and out of this population and out of this 
population samples can be selected so whatever list you are taking it is known as your sampling frame for example here it is written that hospital list municipality list school list whatever list you want to take or on whom you want to do your research work you have to take list of full people and out of that you have to choose the sample size next is sampling sampling is a process which process again going with the yesterday's example that out of the total cancer patient you have to choose certain cancer people on whom you are going to do the research that is a fully process directly you cannot select that i want to do research on this these and this people you have to go step by step you have to go city by city you have to go by district by district so whatever steps you are taking it is known as a full procedure so what is sampling over here it's a process to choose samples from population and the criteria used to choose sample from population it's a full process in short you can say that suppose take for example firstly you are going with the different country wise this is the first step out of that you are choosing certain uh, suppose state then from state suppose if you are going with certain district and from district you are choosing certain taluka and from this taluka if you are going to choose certain people to do your survey then this is a fully procedure which procedure from country to state from state to district from district to taluka and from this taluka we are or you are going to choose your sample size so this full process is known as sampling there is a difference between sample size and sampling sample size is what as in last video we have learned it is a sub group of the population and what is sampling sampling is a process to find out the sample from the population and last one terminology which is to be under understand by the student that is sampling unit sample which give information about the objectives that is who replied accurately and properly about the objective suppose again going with the last video example we will go with the same example so that everything can be clear in the mind of the students as in last video's example we have taken that there are total 10 lakh cancer patients that is known as the universe out of that as a researcher or as a person you have defined 1 lakh people from india those who are having the blood cancer that is known as your population out of that you have taken a sub group of 1000 people of surat city on which you are going to do the research that is known as sample size so now we have taken 1000 sample size on which research is going to be conducted or from whom you have to ask the question you can say that but this 1000 people may not reply properly sometimes they will give half information sometimes they will give uh, uh, wrong information it is possible so they will not give answers related to objectives objectives that means your goal exactly what answer you want if they do not reply and out of this 1000 people only 600 people are replying properly then out of that sample size people who reply properly are known as sampling units again repeating sampling unit means people who reply properly from the decided sample size sample size is taken 1000 but out of that only 600 people are replying properly so that is known as the sampling unit let us take a brief again researcher person who defines the question or a person who decide to ask question to the different people that is known as researcher if by researcher it is not possible to do survey 
from the decided area then he or she will appoint certain person on behalf of them they are known as surveyor and for that certain fee certain remuneration is paid by researcher sampling unit that is any map any list or any chart whatever is taken to find out sample population list should be taken for the population and out of that certain sample should be selected so whatever list whatever map or whatever chart is taken it is known as sampling frame sampling to choose sample from the population whatever steps whatever procedure is taken is known as sampling and sampling unit that is if out of selected sample size if only few people are replying properly according to the objective and that is known as sampling unit so here we are concluding with the old terminologies now in next video we will go with the chapter number 1 so till then stay tuned have a good day have a safe environment home goodbye